Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? Got a message coming from Holy Spirit. So let's get into it. I ain't gonna hold you. Heavenly Father, I come asking that you provide wisdom, clarity, and understanding. I pray that you plead the blood of Jesus over me, your message, and those children connected to your ministry. I ask that you extend that blood to their homes and their children. Father, I rebuke and counsel any demonic activity coming against your children and coming against your ministry. Father, I know that everything is possible with you and nothing is possible without you. So we ask that you allow us to follow you so closely that we are divinely guided by your footsteps. For we know it's in your name that we pray. And we love you so much, Father. Amen. Okay, so on the seventh day, the child died. David's servants, however, were afraid to tell him that the, the, the child was dead. For they said, when the child was alive, we spoke to him, but he would not listen to what we said. How can we tell him that the child is dead? But David noticed the servants whispering among themselves and realized that the child was dead. And the servants, and he asked the servants, is the child dead? Then they replied, yes, he is, raising from the ground, rising from the ground. David watched and anointed him, himself and changed his clothes. Then he went to the house of the Lord and worshipped. He returned to his own house where, his, where at his request food was set before him and he ate. His servants said to him, what are you doing? While the child was living, you fasted and wept and, and kept vigil. Now that the child is dead, you rise and take food. He replied, while the child was living, I fasted and kept and wept, thinking perhaps the Lord will grant me the child's life. But now he is dead. Why should I fast? Why should I fast? Now can I bring him back again? I shall go to him, but he will not return to me. Then Bathsheba comforted his wife, and he went and slept with her, and she conceived and bore him a son, whose name was Solomon. And the Lord loved him, and he sent the prophet Nathan to name him Jedidiah on behalf of the Lord. I don't want to say this, but... um. I feel like the father is bringing to mind again the loss of a son. And this is a father son connection. And the father losing this son is going to hurt this father very bad. This father could have been praying and fasting for his son. So that his son may live. And it's gonna hurt this man to lose his son. But this man is also going to know that this is um, 
This father is also going to know that this is the work of the Lord. And he's going to know that there's nothing that he can do to bring his son back again. This man may even be comforted um, or seek comfort from his wife. And I'm being led to say a wife that was not originally his. This is a woman that this man chose. And this is the woman that he will go to for comfort. boastfulness, boasting, show, arrogant display, ostentation, wandering, roaming. I actually see the word quack, like a duck, like quack. Making empty boasts about having cure, cures to rid people of all their ills, even by producing wonders. The father gave me the number 212. This is someone who is very um, boastful and arrogant, wandering and roaming. This may be someone who can astro project and come into your home and wander, wander around and roam in your home. And since I see the word quack like a duck, this is someone who has considered you to be a target, a sitting target. Because this person is able to come around and wander around your home. So they see you as a sitting duck. They see you as a sitting target. And that's why I see the word quack. That's crazy. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's right here. The word quack. And it's in parentheses. The scripture that's attached to it is Matthew 2 and 7. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. So there is somebody who is trying to figure out the exact time that the father is going to do something in your life. There is somebody who is trying to figure out the exact time the father is about to move in your life, that the father is about to show up in your life, that the father is about to shine in your life, that the father is about to show out in your life. There is someone who is trying to have a private meeting with witches and warlocks to learn from them when that time will be that the father is going to 9 11 that the father is going to show up in your life the second thing that is attached to the number 212 is a wheel and i see the number 9-11 and I see the number 22. So this person could definitely be someone who is trying to attack your marriage. Ezekiel 120 is where the scripture is coming from.
Whenever the spirit would go, they would go, and the wheels would rise along with them, because the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. This is the all-seeing eye. The Father wants you or this person to know that he sees everything. There's nothing that he is missing. He has the all-seeing eye. He sees things that you can't see. He sees things that I can't see. He sees things that no one can see. He sees things that are being done behind closed doors and dark rooms and secret places. Because this is someone who is having private meetings in secret places. And they are also a person. This is also a person who can astro project, project. They can come into your home and wander and roam around. Okay, this is someone who treats you as a sitting target, a sitting, a quacking duck, because this is something they can do because they know where you live. Okay, they have your address, 1111. And so they astro project. When these people are in their homes or visiting other people, it may look like they are sleeping. But these people will actually astro, astro project and be in the spiritual realm and come into your home and wander and look around. OK, and do whatever it is that they want to do, attacking you in your home or attacking things within your home. This person sees you as a sitting duck because they can do that. Be they feel like you are a sitting duck because they can come into your home and attack you in your home or your home whenever they feel like it. So this person, this gives this person, they feel like a reason to boast, a reason to be arrogant, a reason to display what it is they can do and how they are doing it. This is someone who feels like they can produce signs and wonders. 12-12. This, this is someone who feels like they themselves can produce signs and wonders because of what they can do as far as astro projecting and going inside of people's homes. So they feel like they can create signs and wonders as well. This is someone who feels like they have a swagger. Braggart talk. They trust in the, the stability of earthly things. So this may be one of the reasons why this person is going to meet their demise or be brought to an end because they feel as if they are God and they feel like they can create signs and wonders. They feel like they can astro project spiritually and come into your home and attack you, attack your home, and they are having secret meetings, trying to figure out what time and date exactly is the father about to show up and do something in your life with uh, witches and warlocks and secret places. And the father just wants this person to know that he, he can see everything that's going on. Nobody else might know what this person is doing, but the father says he knows and he sees. He knows and he sees what this person is doing and this person won't stop. And this person doing this, their, their father, this is a father-son relationship. Like I said, this is a message that the father was giving me a while ago about a father-son relationship and the, uh, a son meeting his demise and coming to an end. And he gave it to me several different ways in several different relationships. And now he's bringing it up again. Now, the last time he gave me this message, it was for something else. But this time he poured into my spirit this, and then he gave me the number 212. So this, this child is, was a bad seed. Conceived of and in something not good. 
a bad seed is what the father is saying to me. This this child is a bad seed. And that's, I mean, this father doesn't want this to happen, but he knows when it does happen that it's the will of will of God. He's going to know that it's the will of God when it does happen. That's the message, y'all. And this chapter is entitled David's Repentance. So repent. Maybe you still have time to repent and mean it. I don't know. I don't know if you're I don't know if you had too many chances too many times or maybe you still have time I don't know but the message is the message and what it is and I'm just relaying what is being poured into me and that's it that's all and I also see the number one two three right here peace